really good news for the uh, for for the dungeon pool in the new expansion. At least it's good news for me <laughs> yeah. because I really like Shadow Moon Burial Grounds. Same. I think its bosses are really cool. I think its visuals are really cool. I mean, man, the worlds of Draenor dungeons are pretty fucking awesome, actually. So, uh, Burial Grounds is one of the dungeons. Temple of the Jade Serpent also. And that's like one of my favorite mob dungeons, so I was really happy to see that. Um, Halls of Valor, Valor, like it's a tad long, yeah, but I think it has really cool boss fights. I think it's, I mean, it's just a visually incredible dungeon. So uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, Court of Stars, I think that's also a pretty awesome dungeon. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the uh, Not Good Offensive. This is one of the more unique dungeons in the game because dragon riding plays a part and the dungeon is like a zone wide offensive by the, uh, I suppose the more evil, uh, tribe of Centaur, so it's like a, just a really new kind of novel feeling dungeon. Then Azur Vault, Algathar Academy, and the Ruby Life Pulse. Mm -hmm. So I have the yeah. the only one of those I've actually done so far is Ruby Life Pulse, and it's pretty good. It's nice, nice, nice. It's very. You're saying it was like in the Dark Heart Thicket kind of. It's very Mauve Soulsy. Very Mauve yes. Very you blast through this. There's not really much in the way of writing. You can maybe skip a couple packs intelligently, but it's mostly just straight line kill stuff. Which I always like. Yeah, I I feel like those kind of work better for Mythic Plus, and it's actually one of the things yeah. I've enjoyed quite a bit about this recent season of Mythic Plus, mm -hmm. because um, some of the end cap dungeons of like the mega dungeons, uh, like Sully is Gambit and uh, Workshop, okay. they're a bit shorter. Um, mm. Grimrail is a bit is you know a pretty quick dungeon. Iron Docks is also kind of brisk. Um, I just think just for the way that Mythic Plus is, those things kind of suit. Um, I would say for something like a Halls of Valor, uh, I mean, if you kill more bosses, I actually don't know if it works like this. Um, so the end of dungeon loot from uh, yeah. from Mythic Plus, does your chance scale with the number of bosses in the dungeon? No. No. Yeah, I didn't think it did. No, it doesn't. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll just be you kill all the bosses. That's the dungeon. Yeah, well, I feel like there should be something there to make the longer ones still feel worth it. And I remember that this was peak felt by people whenever, um, you know, the artifact power, yeah. right? You'd get the same amount of AP for doing mob souls as you would uh, doing Halls of Valor. And Halls of Valor, like, that could be a 40-minute affair sometimes. Yeah. Um, so, you know, Blizzard ended up um, changing the AP gains based on the length of the dungeon. Mm -hmm. But uh, I suppose I wonder, right? Because if you're going into a dungeon in Mythic Zero... And it is a three. It has three bosses. That's three chances of load. If you go into a five boss dungeon in Mythic Zero, that's five chances of load. So I suppose it's a bit weird. It's just a completely different, like uh, yeah. I guess, categorization of content overall. I'm, I'm sure that, it's a discussion they've had. In terms yeah, of it is because you can't say, well, you know, uh, the score system basically does that. The score system and the fact that you can't choose your dungeon technically um, do that technically uh outweigh that and like add the weighting to the rec correct side so it balances it all out so you're not actually like doing that though you could like i mean if you wanted just raw loot if you wanted raw loot and raw valor you would just do the shortest one and plus two and like look for keys for that and constantly roll and drop your own key for that and that's something that kind of can't really get away with yeah. the, the only the only way you could solve that problem and this is something i would i would love for them to experiment with it for at least one season the only problem is we'd now be waiting to the last season of Dragonflight and that would be way too long. Um, I love them to experiment with random Mythic Plus Finder just to completely completely balance all that out and remove all the choice and stuff from that. As Maybe you wouldn't need to do that, but it'd be a way to do, actually try it for a bit. Just to kind of kill all of that kind of super, super tur turbo, turbo meta gaming, like which dungeon you do and for how long and stuff like that. That's what I think is interesting about FF14 at the minute, of course. Because you want to do your expert roulette, right? Mm. You want to do your expert roulette, and it's going to go faster if you get the earlier dungeon. Because there's two in expert roulette at the minute. And if you get the earlier dungeon, it's going to go faster because you're a higher item level comparatively, because that was a patch ago. So that's going to be faster. Boss is going to die quicker, stuff like that. But it's just random, so you know, whatever. And people don't. Like go mental over getting one or the other. They just go, yeah, it's this one. We pick whatever. What, what is it? Oh, it's this one. Sure, whatever. Obviously, there's like better. There's like better gear from the newer one, but that doesn't matter because you already out geared pretty quickly. And then you also have the example where people absolutely what do you call? It? Where people 
still eye level cheese the alliance roulette. Mm. If you eye level cheese the alliance roulette, I don't care your motive. I really want to do Evelys again. Fuck you. That's my that's my response. Because if I have to do Labyrinth of the Ancients one more time, I will be very upset. Yeah. <laughs> I love I love not having a second AoE button. It's great. It's great. Yeah. I mean it's like I do and yeah. I don't. If I'm watching mm. something on my other monitor, then I'm okay only having one AoE button, <laughs> which totally goes yeah. back to my old, like, yeah, ah, that's, yes. That's not playing a video game. That's just wasting your time. That's not playing a video game. <laughs> yes, automatic, Jack. I know that we've yeah. been pruned, mm -hmm. but guess what? That's Ross's responsibility, motherfucker. I, yeah. I don't actually mean that. I don't actually mm -hmm. mean that. Um, yeah. But I, you know what? I'm actually, I'm really excited to start a new expansion wanting to main a healer. I am seriously excited you'll, for that. You'll soon fucking change your tune. Ah. So I'm not going to play Feral Druid. That's going to be the first time I've done that since... Well, well there we go, right? An expansion yeah. of new no, shit. No, sorry, I'm not going to play Feral Druid. I'm going to want to play Feral Druid, and then the guild's not ah, going to have any healers. I'm going to heal. Like, I'll heal. That's one. I'll heal you all. That's one. Sure. I'll, I'll just press boon. Oh, wait. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Without Boon to save me, I'm a useless healer. Yeah, I'll be um I'll be uh, playing I'll be playing Feral Druid throughout the beginning of the expansion, unless they wreck it. Then then I will be reasonably geared for Feral, I'll have a nice agility weapon, I'll have a nice, you know, some nice agility trinkets, decent stuff there. Uh I won't have to get a Feral Legendary. Man, I'm excited for Dragonflight now. I don't have to well, go get a feral that... legendary, but the thing is, then oh, I will. I will be like, sweet. I'm gonna do the a little bit of all of that. Get get myself some, some feral gear. Get practice in as feral. Get all like the basically be in the right headspace to do some content as feral, and then either one week I will like no one else will be online and I'll not be able to get into a mythic dungeon because feral will undeniably be shit for some reason, or like you know just too many DPS, not enough haters. And then I'll have to go resto in order to get a dungeon or to fill a rank in a raid. And then I'll just rage and be resto for the rest of the expansion. Let's see, I can heal. Dakor can heal, but he'll be off with security. Yeah, he'll be off mythic uh, raiding. Getting his, his crazy kills. Yeah. Basically, we need a healer. How many healers do we have? Yes. Who healed in Sepulchre? You yes. did. Yeah. Who else did? The, any pugs we could find. It was you and pugs? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that explains several raid nights. Yeah. We may end up being the heal bots. Yep. That's okay. You can go into cat form, like in between dropping. Oh yeah, dropping I can just, yeah, I can, I can just cat weave. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, that's it. Just cat weave. Sweet, it's fine. 